Hello and welcome to today's video on aptamer technology and its use in cancer. In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of aptamer and how they can revolutionize the cancer treatment. As we know, cancer is a disease that affects millions of people around the world. The traditional methods of cancer treatment such as chemotherapy and radiation therapies have several side effects and can often lead to the development of drug-resistant cancer cells. But the use of aptamer in cancer treatment offers a new and exciting approach that promises to be more effective and safe. So let's dive in and learn more about aptamer and its role in the cancer treatment and cancer research. So let's begin with what are aptamer. You might be knowing that I myself has 15 plus year experience in aptamer and cell technology. I have already shared few videos regarding its overview, application, its role in diagnostics. So any one of you who are interested could watch that videos also. So let's discuss first what aptamers are. Aptamers are small single standard nucleic acid. It could be DNA, RNA molecule that are designed to bind to a specific target and ligand such as protein, enzymes and other biomolecules. Aptamers are created through a process called as select systematic evolution of ligand by exponential enrichment method where pool of random molecule nucleotide or peptide is subjected to repeated cycle of selection and amplification to generate a specific aptamer that could bind to a particular ligand with a high affinity and specificity. If you wonder how do aptamers work in cancer treatment and cancer research? So here's the answer. Aptamer can be used in cancer treatment in several ways. One of the most promising approach is the use of aptamer as a targeted drug delivery week. As we know, cancer cells have specific proteins and biomolecules that are not present in the healthy cells. Aptamers can be designed to specifically target these proteins and biomolecules on surface of cancer cells. Once the aptamer binds to target molecule, it can deliver a drug payload to the cancer cells, resulting in the death of cancer cells without destroying the healthy cells. The another way aptamer used in cancer treatment is by inhibiting the activity of protein that are essential for cancer cell growth and survival. For example, aptamer can be designed specifically bind to a protein such as VGF, a vascular endothelial growth factor which is known to promote growth of the blood vessels and tumor. By binding to VGF, the aptamer can inhibit the growth of blood vessels in the tumor, thereby depriving the nutrient and oxygen in the tumor, resulting in the tumor cell death. So here are a few of the benefits of using aptamer in cancer treatment and cancer research. The use of aptamer in cancer treatment offers several benefits over traditional cancer therapies. Aptamer have high affinity and specificity for their target molecule, which means they can effectively target cancer cells without affecting a healthy cell. This result in low side effect for the patient, making aptamer based therapies safer and more tolerable. Aptamer are also highly adaptable and can be easily modified to target different molecules or to improve their pharmacokinetic properties. The flexibility allows researchers to design aptamers that are highly effective at targeting specific cancer cells, making them a promising option for personalized cancer treatment. Aptamer can also be used in cancer diagnosis by targeting specific biomarkers that are present in cancer cells. For example, aptamer can be designed to bind specific protein that are overexpressed in cancer cells, allowing for the early detection of cancer. One example of such aptamer is PSMA aptamer, which binds to a prostate specific membrane antigen. A protein that is overexpressed in prostate cancer. This aptamer has been used in diagnostic and as a potential therapeutic agent for prostate cancer. Aptamer have shown great promises in targeted drug delivery for cancer treatment. As we know, traditional chemotherapy drugs have severe side effects due to their non-specific nature. But the use of aptamer drug can be delivered specifically to cancer cell, minimizing the side effect on the healthy cell. For example, targeted drug delivery using aptamer AS1411. This aptamer targets nucleoline, a protein that is overexpressed in cancer cells. Once the aptamer binds to nucleoline, it it is internalized by the cancer cell where it can deliver the chemotherapeutic drug to the cancer cells resulting in the death of cancer cell while sparing the healthy cells. Aptamer is recently also utilized in cancer immunotherapy. 
Aptomec can be used in cancer immunotherapy by targeting immune cells and enhancing their activity against cancer cells. For example, the Aptomer Apt001 has been shown to enhance the activity of natural killer cells against cancer cells. The Aptomer bind to CD16, a receptor of natural killer cells, and activate the cells leading to increased cytotoxic activity against cancer cells. In conclusion, Aptomer have shown great promises in the field of cancer research and treatment. They can be used in cancer diagnosis, targeted drug delivery, and immunotherapy. The use of Aptomo in cancer treatment offers several benefits over the traditional cancer therapy, including high specificity, affinity for their target molecule, resulting in fewer side effects for the patient. With ongoing research and development, we can expect to see more and more Aptomo-based therapies and diagnostics being developed for the treatment of the cancer in the future. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video informative and educational.